bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at Kenmore City Hall and joining me right now, Derek Cartwright, who is director, Seattle Art Museum, or Sam as everyone calls it. Right. Derek, thanks so much for coming on the program. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Sabrina. You all have, a, of course, a landmark exhibition going on right now, work of Pablo Picasso. Uh, I'm so curious, what was involved in getting this exhibition here, the challenges involved, and how long were you in the making of trying to get it here? It's a great story, actually. When you think about what Seattle Art Museum has done over the last 10 years in terms of its growth, it's really set the stage for us to have these major projects. So several years ago, my colleagues began looking for the kinds of shows that could come to Seattle and really address the great public that we have here. And I think one of the first conversations that took place was between the former director of our museum, Mimi Gates, and the director of the Musée Picasso, Anne Baldessari. And they just talked a little bit about what might happen in Seattle. And as the Musée Picasso planned to close for about two years while they're doing renovations, Sam was right there at the top of the list of institutions that they wanted to collaborate with. I arrived about a year and two months ago, and one of the first trips I took was to Paris to negotiate that contract, which brought the show here. So. It was a, an exciting moment for me and a lot of risk, but it's really paid off well for the community. And this has spans eight decades, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. So it's covering everything. What makes this collection so unique compared to other Picasso collections? Well, nobody else could tell this story the way the Musée Picasso can, because as the receptacle for all the works that Picasso had in his possession at the time of his death, the Musée Picasso really can tell that story from this prodigious talent of this young man who at age 16 was already recognized as a great artist until his 90s. So you're right, he painted over this huge period of time. Nobody could tell that story the way Musée Picasso can. And as a result, we're able to show the full trajectory of Picasso's career at SAM in a way we never will again and certainly never have before. And all the different periods Yes, and in every medium, really. So you have drawings, you have paintings, sculpture, prints, and it's a really satisfying show for that reason. What is the best way to, I guess experience would be the appropriate word here, to mm -hmm. experience the collection? I know you have events and programs to complement it, so how would you suggest someone go about seeing this? So you could just come and visit the museum and probably wait a little bit to get into the exhibition itself and have a terrific time because these works are so rewarding just on a purely visual level and, and it's a confrontation with a great work of art. On the other hand, we've tried to do everything that we can to make it satisfying for somebody who wants to go deeper. So you're exactly right. You have public programs, you have lectures, you have guided tours, and the best thing that I can recommend is for someone to go to our website and look at www.picassoinseattle.org and you can click right into everything that's happening on a daily basis. You could actually download the audio tour in advance and if you wanted to hear artists like Chuck Close say what he thinks about Pablo Picasso and how that was meaningful for him as a young artist developing, you could get a lot of information in advance. Or as I said, you could just come and spend the day at the museum and have something that you will never forget get in your experience bucket. And certainly you don't need to be a Picasso expert. You will learn lots while you're there. So. I don't think so. One of the things I'm most proud about is that over 18,000 school kids in the Seattle region are going to see this exhibition, and those kids are going to have an experience that they will never forget. I see them every day in the galleries, and they are loving it. So if they can, we all can. Favorite piece? Mm. Wow, there are 150 <laughs> works. And I know, I, that's tough. And I think We're almost out of time, though. Okay, they're right. all wonderful works. I think the image that we've chosen as one of the um, most lastingly important ones for the exhibition is Two Women Running on the Beach, where you see these. It's a very small picture, but we've blown it up huge on the front of the building, and it holds its power even at that large scale. It's a great work, which shows these two figures just in this joyous expression of humanity, one woman with her arm thrown back over her head, and it's Picasso at his very mm. best in terms okay, of Okay, we will definitely look for that. Exhibition ends January 17th. Right. Derek Cartwright from Sam, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top of the hour.